this is the cloud. Beautiful, fresh from Alpasa. Just need a tip. Now just relax. The pot is too small. Cut into a larger piece. So you can dice big pieces of potato, 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 whatever you want to call it. Cut into half. I'm going to use the skin. Not fresh, fresh from the farm, but fresh. Thing is, we have to have good quality potato. Sometimes it's soggy inside. Sometimes it's not really ripe. Okay. Gonna transfer into a bigger pot. I always like to coat some olive oil on the bottom. Okay, then I'm gonna pour all the veggies I had just now. Mix them up nicely. Another round of olive oil on top of it. And scoop them out. Some balsamic vinegar. Just a little bit. Pepper. Good amount of pepper. I like heat, so I'm like a pepper freak. So I need a good amount of pepper around. Yep, enough. Salt. So salt is based on how you want to look at it. You want how much of salt in your food. So I'm not a salty person. So enough to cover all my veggies. A little bit of oregano just for the fragrance. Just a little bit like that. Mm. The smell of it is so nice. Dried oregano. Okay, and we are done over here. So just give them a mix, a toast. Okay, and we are 
done. So we're gonna close up with the lid and we're gonna put it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. And that's it, we're done for it. So 15 minutes in the oven, 200 degrees Celsius. And then after that, we're gonna open up the lid and leave it for another five more minutes to dry up a little bit and we'll be done. All right, so we're gonna go to the steak right after this. More pepper. Beautiful. Keeping this. Okay, we are done here. Woohoo! Amazing. 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 from Al Pasar, bro. Yeah. Seriously, this is. Gorgeous. Let me serve you this. this is so beautiful. Look at the cross section of it. So this is medium, right? Yep, medium rare. Medium rare. Hmm. So medium rare. There's a bit of pinkish inside there. Yes. We're gonna have some. These two. This is black Angus. Black Angus ribeye. Yeah, oh, US amazing, black Angus. Bro. So this is normal ribeye. But oh, this so, is still fine. I tell you, this so still. The, uh, yeah, the normal ribeye. I actually made it medium. Okay. So it's on the side here. So you can see the cross section over here. Here's the medium. Beautiful. Take some of this. And Take I did roast some Take rest. veggie. And give you some of the veggies. Take that. Corner. Whew. So I roast baked some broccoli and Bake. carrot. So do you put anything with this broccoli? Just salt, pepper. That's it. Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil. Some balsamic vinegar. Ah. Let's enjoy meat today. Yes. Let's Thank you for inviting. Me. So let me big. serve you some pepper first. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> like a boss. Yeah, brother. Where you get this, yeah? Choppy, yeah? Uh, no, I got a gift from my friend. So, so it's automatic? It came, yes. Automatic. Once you tilt it... That's right. You want some salt? You just have to shoot, shoot off that one, huh? Yeah. So salt not automatic, yeah? Yeah, salt not. Okay. If salt automatic, then it will be too salty. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's a long time that I ate a good steak. Wow, amazing. How many seconds, minutes you each side, roughly? Okay, I didn't count seconds. How many? I'm now? actually doing my, I will actually press on it. Hmm. I'll actually press my finger on it to see if it's okay or not. Then before I flip it. Oh. It's actually visual sound. Sound? Yeah, visual and sound before I flip on it. Oh. 
Okay. So you don't put in the oven after that? No. no. Oh. Mine just on the pan. On the pan. So a lot of people just ask me to go inside the oven and everything. Uh. Um, it's just for coating purposes. But I'm using convection oven. So it doesn't make a lot of difference. Do you baste it like with butter and... Um, baste it, no. Oh. It's just totally... I mean, you fry it with your... But the butter, the with but butter. The butter should. Yep. So this is the, the normal ribeye you give me. Yep. From our pasta. Just nice, right? Mm. Not too crunchy, not too soft. Like, yeah. Simple, nice. Yep, yeah. Easy. To enjoy steak, you got to pay attention to the steak. Not the sides. So, you know, some people put mashed potato and all these things. No. Who sauce. They have the black No sauce. No sauce is required. I can make the sauce. But then here we are talking about the meat itself. I want to have the flavour of the meat. The flavour of what I marinated with. Mm. The salt and the pepper. This is good enough. The beef flavour just brings to bring the flavour out. Yeah. I'm, I mean, being a carnivore, <laughs> This is amazing. Meat, I prefer yeah lamb. My dad loves lamb. Lamb, right? Yeah, lamb red, lamb chop. Yeah. Beef, not so. But I like the okay. like daging pindang. That's the only thing. So that far, is. there is no problem between your beef. I like the beef. I mean. It's so good. Hey. You're not a very professional chef. Uh. I'm a self-trained chef. Trying this and out. Learning <laughs> for people. And I can do this. At home. And the pepper, pepper machine? Eh? <laughs> hey, but your pepper got... You were mentioning? So there's white pepper in there. White. White. Black. Red I don't know red pepper. Green, red pepper and green pepper. Green? Mm. Okay, I just have to try this. This is dope. Eh? <laughs> okay. So, in fact, at our pasta, we have different oh, yeah. different type of meats mm. to cater to different okay. budget. Mm. Okay, tell me about it. So, the one that the normal rib eye. Imagine for almost, I think around 17 or 18 dollars, one kilo, you got five slices, enough oh. for a family. Very economic. Plus saloon. Saloon and ribeye, both. Five. We have two, okay. two types. Mm. So we have five steps, mm. five pieces, already okay. pre-cut. One kilo. Pre-cut some more? Pre-cut lah. Just take out. <laughs> got five pieces. So you got, you got you, and you're done. Yeah, you got a guess. Okay, you just take out, sure. defrost it. So what I normally do once I get the meat, I will marinate, season it, sorry. season it with salt pepper, then, keep, then I keep it back in the ziplock. Okay. So when you need it, you need it, just have to. Today, eh, it's amazing. lemon, eh, it's lemon meringue. I want to take photo. Can I take photo of this? Yes, yes, please. This one is so Instagrammable, lah. that's the word. <laughs> like, that's the word, like. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, and all these flowers are real? Yes, they are all edible flowers. Hey, I remember this red flower. I don't know what's the name, but you know, you can suck the... Exora, that's right. Exora, is it? Exora. And we were kids, right? They yeah. always pluck this thing and suck the uh, nectar. Yeah. And then you got a blue pea. And this oh, is... Oh, lavender. Uh, what's the smell? Lavender. Yeah, lavender. Lavender pots. So, vanilla Italian meringue goes very, very well. I mean, sorry, Ita uh, lemon Italian meringue goes very well with, lem uh, with lavenders. Take the flowers. For my TikTok. Okay, let me get for your plate. And we'll cut for your piece. And also my teh tarik. Bro, your suji cake have evolved from the traditional buy suji cake. Yes, become bro. a Italian, is it? Or um, French? Not really Italian. It's it's not an Italian stuff. Okay, I mean, I'm more, Italian I'm more, I'm more suji cake, I call it. <laughs> I just uh, improvise to make it look better, more meringue. modern, but still with the original suji cake underneath. So this is lemon Italian meringue. Lemon, so the... Okay. Lemon zest. Ooh. Right? And then the top was blue torch. Blue torch. Yes. So we got caramelized in telemarine. I remember those times where you were so frustrated of of getting the perfect recipe. Yes. Wow, Come on. look at that. Wow. Mm. 
Oh, flashback. <laughs> flashback to when you were in Italy? No. <laughs> when I came here, ah. craving for your suji cake. Or those days where you just, hey, are you around the area? Come, got Kruji cake because you were doing your R&D. I become your guinea pig to test. <laughs> too soft, too hard. But it's still nice to me, but it's not nice to you. I don't know, but so funny me here it is. Wow. Yep. Hmm. You're enjoying too much my food already, yeah? Of course. Now you want to talk about you. Ah, what is that? For the Ichita bit. So, you went to, you were with uh, SMCCI. Mm. What were you doing there? Before I was, you... I was a secretary. Okay. Then after that, I moved to uh, SME Center at SMCCI. Okay. That's where I was a business advisor. Mm. Advising about grants and all this okay. assistance. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I get to know you. So, right? yeah. so then suddenly I heard you left. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so you, I want you to tell me what happened from that position. Alamak, that was so long. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, yes, just a little bit of of it. Okay, before we go to our pasar. Huh. So basically, I am very, very, very uh, intrigued with when I met, I met a lot of uh, business owners. So, so many kind, from micro all the way to I mean, big companies. Uh, and inside me, still, there's always uh, I want to do my own business. Definitely. Since young, when I help with my family business, you know, okay. I kind of know how you to run business. It's not easy, uh, but the SMCI is a perfect place for me to learn, actually. Yeah. I took the offer. Uh, my own boss was there, so he called me, say, there's a job offer. So my, my agenda or my objective is just to learn as much after I fresh graduated. So I just mm. learn as much. And I, I think that's a good opportunity for to meet the business owners to know about the government assistance scheme good and that's right. where good networking free good i went overseas bring business owners connection even to across countries yeah so from there the last one i went to japan so that's where i came back i told myself i think it's time and i asked my wife say you think i should leave and say, yeah uh the time is, i think it's now is the best time because um, the kids are still small we just got married, so just got the house settled down. I think you can you want, you want to do do before thirty five. You told me, okay. So you got you got five years to do whatever. So at, at the time I was around thirty. So I give you five years, do whatever you want. After five, then we will uh, call it uh, re relook a review. Okay. Where have you? you uh, so okay. So fair enough. So she's very supportive. When I got the support, I just that, that's it. Go. What is our pastor's direction right now? Well, we. At one point of time, uh, we are looking, okay, uh, hopefully to be like the next Amazon, where we have multiple brands. Brands come out to us, especially local, we want to support local brand, right? Yeah. Uh, where we are one-stop solution where they can just click just one item. Imagine the big brands. Imagine you just want a particular product. Mm -hmm. We have it all and it can be delivered to you in the next hour. Yes, we have this other uh, platform like uh, Food Panda, Lilibro, that's a lot. Yep. But when it comes to selected local delicacies or products, mm -hmm. you know, when you fresh fresh produce, not many carry. Yep. How many companies are there that you know that carry fresh seafood? Yeah. One AM we pick up from the Jurong Port, nine reach your doorstep. How fresh you wanna get? You know? That, and that they're alive, of... right? Oh you yes, I will also sell live prawn, live crab, yeah, yeah, oysters. Yeah. yeah. yeah so right, these right. are the things. Uh, our direction also is also to go global, lah, to expand to other countries where, which we mean similar model yep. uh, of groceries, helping the uh, local produce, local farmers yeah. to bring them to the uh, residential or even to the uh, businesses. So enough of about opasa. Okay. About business. Now I want to touch something very personal. Ooh, wait. So as. Uh, I want to know a little bit about you, your life, your mm -hmm. personal life, your struggles on your own. Okay. Right. You want to share? You can share with us. My struggles in studies, I even don't want to. Go, I don't want to continue my studies, but because my late father, you know, said if you want to marry my daughter, you make sure you have a degree. So <laughs> that become. Uh, I like to be challenged. Ah. Okay. Yeah. I like okay. to Malaysia pantang di cabar, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, challenge me. So I told my wife, let's take a course, a degree together. Because <laughs> my brain really no. I need, okay, I like to beat the system. Uh, and that's me. Okay. Anywhere I go, I will learn the system, beat the system. So basically, yeah, I 
I took the same course as her. Mm. I went, she designed the thing. I went into NS two years, come back. I said, okay, best what, what all the project. Yeah, and then I just edit, and then uh, she forced me to study, take my exam, and wait outside. Then we go for our movie date. If not, no movie date. You make sure you go for your exam. That how bad I struggles. Wah, tell you to learn. Yeah, it paid off. It paid off. Uh, but yeah, but I'm um, right now. I also still took I just recently took a diploma. Okay. Really learn again. So apply what I learn in Opasa in marketing and learning about uh, digital marketing and digital business, yeah. which is I feel like I say, oh, you studying again? Ah? I said, yeah, uh, because I feel that uh, uh, I need to be abreast when, when right now as a business owner, yeah. uh, when I have people under me, uh, I need to be on top of things. Uh, but it's very interesting uh, when learning about this marketing, it's always uh, yeah. I'm very interested in. Uh, very colorful. Uh, very colorful. Yeah. So one of the things when I do, I always seek my parents uh baraka blessings actually my mama blessings blessings yeah thank you thank you so much for your time thank you so much thank you so much for bringing Opasa into the show you're welcome um and thank you for enjoying the meal hey i should be thanking Super you for cooking most welcome most welcome for the tea that I been craving for one year and the sushi cake that... It's been one year eh, since I met you? Yeah, lah, one year ago, before Ramadan. Even more, lah, bro. Wow, that's a long time. So, we will catch up again soon? Yes. More often? Please do. Yeah, and yeah. more tea tarik? More tea tarik. Right. So, for now, the close shop. Thank you so much, Adik. Thank you Most for welcome. this lovely dish today. And congratulations with your third child. Most welcome. Thank you. Inshallah. We met again. We yeah. meet again. Thank you.